Water? Water, I'm afraid, yeah. You don't want a G from Harry or anything, do you? Pardon? You don't want a G from Harry. Set up on my knee, Sally boy. Give me a G shirt. Oh, oh, that was good, wasn't it? Not again. <laughs> Not again. Just call me Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell yes. you, the people here are so excited. <laughs> Give me an F-sharp now. I really don't... <laughs> that was interesting, that shot, Terry. Yeah. Now, yeah. look... I just you kicked your mic, sorry. Yeah, never mind. Look, <laughs> there you are. Yes. Yeah. Now, look, we were introduced. You must get fed up being introduced by that theme of mine, though. But you've left it now. No, I get PRS for that. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Play it again, Sam. <laughs> now, I mean, you're leaving <laughs> mine. That was a plucky decision, to leave mine, though. Yeah, um... It was when my agent told me how much I would have got. <laughs> ah, come on, you knew what you were going to get. You decided to, not to do it. Yes, um, I th thought that the character could uh, be boring. I'm an actor, chappy. <laughs> but the, the, um, there was nothing really left for Terry to do, especially with the violence getting less. I couldn't even have a fight. <laughs> you could just crash a car or yeah. something. Yeah, oh, go, sorry. So what yeah. now then, Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Wally in front of them, OK, Arthur. <laughs> Is it going to continue, though, without you? Apparently so, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, sorry, in answer, to, uh, in answer to your question, it was a very difficult decision because I absolutely loved doing the show. And we were very, very happy... You enjoyed you know, a great pal. Yeah, absolutely. So it was, it was very difficult in that respect, thinking, I, I hope I'm not putting everybody else in... But you know the security thing that most actors have, because most actors have been out of work at least one once or twice in their lives. <laughs> that... <laughs> but, you know, does it... <laughs> does it not... Does it not... <laughs> Didn't it worry you, the kind of... Are, are, you, are you an insecure person as far as that kind of thing? Because I think, where's the next Bob going to come from? Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, there... And now, this is the difference, you see. George Cole, when we were doing the second series... Oh, no, when we finished the first series, and I said... I think there's a whisper of a second series, George. And he went, well, we'll see what the scripts are like and stuff like that. And I said, well, I could actually quite manage it because uh, I've just got this huge mortgage. <laughs> As he does. I haven't had a mortgage for 25 years. I just own these five acres in Henley. And uh, the house was paid for 25 years ago, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> Rich. Um, yeah, you have to. You've got children and yeah. all that so stuff. So that's what I mean. It, it was a plucky decision. Yeah, I mean, I, it was helped in as far as that I did know that I had some other stuff to do. Um, you know, I had a film company that I wanted to try and get off the ground. I had uh, a series called Stay Lucky That Yorkshire Did. Stay Lucky That Yorkshire on ITV. Um, which was already in the offing and... But in the end, even if they hadn't been there, I think I still would have said no to Minder because it was just... I mean, obviously, I took advice from my agent, my wife, you know, it was all like, ah. am I stupid? And it was like, well, no, where can the character go, really, unless he gets married and sort of spins out? I mean, he was... He ended up just as a foil for... And I don't mean this in any sort of rude way, but it, uh, the, uh, it was... It came off a daily show as opposed to Minder. Mm. And... Um, so, you know, I was just trudging around being sort of genial in the background. Yeah. <coughs> but that's you, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't around, mind doing it in life. <laughs> <laughs> now, on, on Tuesday evening, you're making it your comedy debut on the BBC in the new series, On the Up. It's a man with many problems. Let, let's have just a brief smidgen. <laughs> Good. Well, they, they do say there's been a dearth of decent sitcoms around, and um, that looks pretty good from there. I'm, uh, I'm That's very good. excited about it. I mean, I read it and laughed out loud. Good cast. Wonderful. Wonderful. Got... I mean, Sam Kelly's yeah. just magic. Joan Sim. Wait, if you like to see a good show where they get all the laughs and I'm just sitting in the background, it's the same as mine. <laughs> 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 uh, is Joan Sims and less money? Well, sorry. Yeah. Does Joan watch well, the BBC? Absolutely. Yeah, so we could Charity. talk about that for a long time. Get Joan down. Yeah. But talk about the Where's other... Where's she gone? Yeah. Why? Well, it's always the same when you need somebody, isn't it? <laughs> Joan Sims, talking about her. Has she been a constant source of comfort to you? 
Uh, Joan is magic. We've, we've kind of decided that if we'd been sort of born the other, we would have been each other. <laughs> if, if I was a, a larger sort of English actress, I would have been Joan, and if she had been a younger sort of... Yeah, we've only been, slightly younger, you understand? We try to get her on the show every so often, Joan, but she's, she, she's very she, highly she, strong. She won't come on. She's only highly strong when she's not working, strangely enough. Uh, if, if that makes any sense. She's like, oh no, I can't do this, I can't do that. And you go, action, and she goes... Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, and she makes me laugh just more than anybody else I've ever, yeah. ever known. You're going to be your own boss at last. Well, I mean, the, the new production company, the film production company. This is the plan, yes. I have a film production company called East End Films, and uh, we made a film last year, uh, to the end of last year, called um, Cold Justice. And... Uh, we're having a bit of trouble because the people who are supposed to show it in this country have gone bankrupt. Oh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem, isn't it? It is a bit of a problem. Well, <laughs> it like is in the film business. They, they come and they go, don't they? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Ruler might hear this. Yeah. You, what kind of a part? You, you've got your, a part in it. You're the, you're the main role in it. I play a priest. A priest. An English priest who arrives in Chicago and gets involved in the local setup and gets accepted. And... Uh, do you want the whole story here? No, no, but I was just wondering about the, the difference between producing it yourself, actually, being the, being the producer and being the star as well. Did you find, that's the first time you've done that, did you uh, find the crew were, were subservient or obsequious to you? No. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, because... I made my first mistake that we decided to make it in Chicago, right, and Sweeney and Minder and all that stuff has not been shown in America. So who do, who's the little bald guy who keeps shouting? <laughs> who's that? What are you? Oh, he's the actor. He's the Father Jim thing. Yeah. And, um, no, uh, <laughs> No, they weren't at all subservient. <laughs> no, they were terrific. We had a really smashing time. We also taught them how to work in English. Yeah, which can't have been easy. I mean, there's a load of rhyming slang within the film game, like, if you check the gate, it's the plumber's mate. So we go, okay, we're going to check the plumbers. <laughs> What's a plumbers? What's a plumber doing here? I don't know. Um, but it was a smashing experience. We had our own camera crew, and uh, we, I think we made a very nice film, and it would be nice if it was shown. Was so if anybody's got any dough and you want to buy it... <laughs> I mean, steady, they're beginning to climb down from the balcony. <laughs> I was going to say Chelsea are 25 to 1 for the title. Yes, and then they met Crystal Palace, didn't they? <laughs> God, dear, that was... <laughs> Do you miss... If you, if you become Crystal the... Crystal Palace! Please! <laughs> I mean, really? Please! <sighs> please, we've had enough tears tonight. That's I was going to no, say no. to you, no, please! No, don't, no. No, no, all right. No, I'm no. filling up here. You've a big-time producer in, in making films. I was asking John about moving around from place to place. I, where does she want me to go? I always... I don't want you to go yet, no. Uh, where does she but, want me to go, sir? Well... Blow in your ear and tell you later. <laughs> I've got to say to you, would you uproot from from your comfortable existence here? I mean, I always think of you as loving it here and being a great football fan, liking to play football yourself and all the rest of it. I would find it hugely difficult to uh, move out of England, I think. Yeah, I, can't, I really... Also, I'm not very good at... Um, introducing myself to people so when you go to America you have to go and say hi I'm a big star and I can't I'm not very good at that um, my agent in America didn't know who I was I went there introduced myself hello I'm Dennis Waterman they went oh really I went yes my agent Dennis Selinger phoned you yeah Dennis you're both Dennis that's nice <laughs> you're my agent um, uh, um, uh, no I couldn't anyway I mean you know you've got You've got children, education, yeah, and all that stuff. Uh, I'd like to go there to work, but I'd like to be invited. I wouldn't do... I think it's very brave, the guys who really just go over there and say, right, I'm going to go over there and crack it. And, and it's... And I don't think it's cowardice, really. I just don't fancy reintroducing myself. And I'm... I think the work I'm doing here is really quite good. And uh, I'm very happy here. Oh, happy. With you, Terry. Oh. <laughs> no happier than me. <laughs> It's nearly finished. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But no, I it, am. I said, not you. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Too close to the truth to be funny. <laughs> I don't know. I've been, I've been here for years looking at that, and I still don't know. <laughs> I, I, there's something 
vaguely magical about it. I think maybe Paul Daniels is hiding underneath it. <laughs> Are we? Speak French! <laughs> Speak English! <laughs> Get us water and then go.